I don't know that we were disappointed. We all knew it was a good song. And we certainly wasn't ashamed of that. Chances are you've heard the classic holiday hit rocking around the Christmas tree at least once this year. And maybe you've even seen the new music video starring the singer Brenda Lee herself. At age 79, Brenda lives in her stunning home in Nashville, Tennessee with her husband of about 60 years, Ronnie Shacklett, and her Christmas classic is still climbing the charts well after her retirement. Today we're diving into the festive world of the one and only Brenda Lee, the pine-sized powerhouse who's got us all rocking around the Christmas tree every holiday season. We'll take a trip down memory lane to uncover Brenda's early years, the gorgeous property she calls home, and why she's the undisputed queen of Yuletide hits. So grab your cocoa, don your ugliest Christmas sweater, and let's jump in. Now, who doesn't bust a move to rockin' around the Christmas tree every December? Brenda Lee was a mere 13 years old when she recorded this timeless hit, unleashing a vocal whirlwind that you could hear all the way in the North Pole. The holidays simply wouldn't be the same without that iconic song on our playlists. Before Brenda became the Queen of Christmas, she was a musical prodigy in the making. Hailing from Atlanta, Georgia, she stepped into the spotlight first at age 7, winning hearts while singing at her school talent show, which then led her to showcase Hank Williams and Peggy Lee tunes at talent shows around Atlanta. At the tender age of 8, tragedy struck with the untimely death of her father, Reuben Tarpley, an event that plunged the family into financial hardship. Lee's resilience emerged as her mother worked tirelessly at a cotton mill to provide for her and her siblings. A year later, it seemed like destiny when Lee secured a regular spot on the Ozark Jubilee, a popular country music TV program in Missouri. At the same time, she also inked a deal with Decca Records. This had the family moving to Nashville, Tennessee, and by 12, Brenda was already touring with country music legends. Fast forward to 1958 and a 13-year-old musical prodigy stepped into a recording studio to lend her voice to a freshly penned holiday tune by Johnny Marks, a song that would etch its place in history. Rock Around the Christmas Tree not only became Lee's signature song, but six decades later stands as an enduring anthem of the holiday season. When we recorded Rockin', I knew it was magical, Lee revealed in an interview. Whether it's Jingle Bell Rock or Winter Wonderland, Brenda's Christmas song renditions make us want to deck the halls and dance through the snow. Her connection to Christmas isn't just about the music, it's about capturing the joy, love, and festive spirit that defines the most wonderful time of year. When it comes to Brenda's timeless love story, she surprised everyone at age 18 when she married her boyfriend of not even six months, Ronnie Shacklett. This move surprised and disappointed her family because she was at the peak of her career, so much so that her family didn't even attend her wedding. However, Brenda and Ronnie defied the odds, marking almost six decades of marriage this year and flourishing in their enduring commitment. The pair first met at a Bo Diddley and Jackie Wilson concert in November 1962. And their quick connection led to a whirlwind romance, leading to marriage a few months later. Throughout their journey, Brenda and Ronnie deliberately kept their private lives away from public scrutiny, maintaining a low profile. They are proud parents to two daughters, Jolie and Julie, named after Patsy Klein's daughter, and three grandchildren, Taylor, Jordan, and Charlie. A handful of years ago, Brenda Lee and Ronnie settled into a stunning Nashville, Tennessee home, more specifically located in the area of Green Hills. From certain interviews with photos of Brenda, we can tell that it's the same home based upon the backdrop, and she's just decorated the place to suit her tastes. Over the years, the 5,800 square foot Nashville mansion has also served as the space to display her many awards and accolades. She also has what looks like a music room set up with her piano and adorned with autographs from some of her favorite artists like Fats Domino and Jerry Lee Lewis. Brenda's collection boasts an autographed portrait of the Beatles from when the group opened for her at the Star Club in Hamburg, Germany in 1962 as well. Other trinkets in this room include a framed photo of Brenda as a child dancing with the one and only Elvis Presley next to a gold necklace which the late icon gifted her. Past the rolling green front lawns and the iron gates, you'll enter Brenda's Nashville home 
which boasts a classic devil height foyer and hardwood floors underneath. There's also a grand staircase here and plenty of natural lights. Brenda's home boasts five bedrooms and five bathrooms throughout and it was built in 2004. Inside, some of the other highlights include a massive recreation room with a fireplace, a balcony overlooking the backyard, and a spacious kitchen and formal dining room. Not to mention, the master suite is sprawling with room for a sitting area and there's also a large ensuite bath. Outside on the half acre property, Brenda's home not only has welcoming terraces and grassy lawns to relax on, there's even a putting green to get some activity in. It's said that when the Christmas singer bought the home, she paid $875,000 for it. And it's where she and Ronnie still live to this day. Currently, Brenda Lee's life seems somewhat typical rather than a music star, juggling the roles of a woman with a family, her grown kids, grandkids, a husband, and a home. Her mornings start early with household chores, followed by preparing lunch for her husband, Ronnie. And up until a few years ago, she was even looking after her teenage grandson, Charlie. Sharing their home is an 86-pound rescue dog affectionately named Little Girl. Despite the routine of daily life, Brenda finds herself involved in a ton of responsibilities tied to various organizations in Nashville. She remains in constant demand, whether it's gracing the stage, hosting dinners, delivering speeches, singing at special events, or inducting fellow artists into the Country Music Hall of Fame. A Hall of Fame inductee herself in 1997, Lee achieved another milestone by entering the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, making her the first woman to hold both distinctions. Brenda Lee has become an unofficial mayor of Nashville after calling the city home for over 60 years. Nearly everyone in town has a Brenda Lee story. Encounters at the grocery store, interrupting her lunch for an autograph at the Cheesecake Factory, or assisting her with luggage in an overhead compartment. According to the Grammy-nominated country music songwriter Bobby Tom Berlin, she's a treasure here in Nashville. She's one of those people you see in the grocery store, and everyone just bows. Sometimes, when I play a show in Nashville, I look out in the audience, and there's Brenda cheering you on. She's still a fan. Today, Brenda Lee's schedule rivals the busyness of 50 years ago, and we can only imagine how busy the star gets around Christmas, seeing as this really is her time. As we wrap up our Brenda Lee journey, it's clear she isn't just an artist, she's a holiday tradition. From her early years as a musical sensation, to becoming the queen of Yuletide hits, her tunes continue to propel us through every festive season. That's gonna bring today's house tour to a close, but before we wrap things up, answer this question for me. What is one Christmas song that always is a must have on your playlist? Let me know in the comments. It's hard to choose. I know one of mine is certainly Last Christmas, the original one, of course. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and if you'd like to tour the homes of another legend, stay tuned for this look into the homes of Patsy Klein. Bye!